Well, folks, we got a lot of show tonight, but I got to talk about this right up front. As I've mentioned before, our good friend Triumph the Insult Comic Dog was nominated for a Grammy this year for his album Come Poop With Me. He sings, sings all the classics on that one. Well, anyway, of course, Triumph went to the Grammy Awards in Los Angeles. When you're nominated, you got to go. A few nights ago, we showed Triumph getting ready for the awards ceremony. Tonight, we're going to show you part two. All right? Here's how it works. That's right. We're going to show you Triumph hanging out at some pre-Grammy parties, hanging with celebrities. Then he's off to the red carpet and the big Grammy show. It's exciting. Check it out. You're terrific. This is Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20. Of course, the final score, Matchbox 20, talent zero. Start <laughs> from Metallica, one of the hardest rocking bands in show business. But judging from the smell, not one of the hardest showering. <laughs> Your fans are extremely loyal, aren't they? Yes, they are. Your fan club uh, has a cute nickname, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, New Jersey. <laughs> Green Day, you real punkers, yes, a punk, a punk, a who? Green Day, you know, be, hooray for us, we're, we're like a less queer Blink-182. <laughs> Aaron Carter, you're such a kid, how old are you now? 17, dog. You're 17 years old and you've already created some of the crappiest music of all time. It's so impressive. Okay, back to the crowd. You think you are. Look at the fur. That's not cool. It's out of style. It's like out of style. Okay, okay. Forget the fur. There we go. This is, this is about respect. Baby blue. This is about it's respect. Baby blue. You got a, a gold tie on Hey, okay, put the fur back on. I'll put the fur back on. Thanks. Good. This is good. This is good practice. Is good? Yeah. This is good practice for two years when you're back in the coat check room. <laughs> I spread around here for John Mayer as he makes all that sweet music. What I was going to say is that uh, it's always, it always seems to be the acoustic kind of uh, ballad tunes that end up on the radio, but there's some other stuff that has a little more edge to it. Oh, like yeah, that. rocking. <laughs> you rock it out. It's relative. No, seriously, rock right. man. Let's see you trash the room. Come on. I've never trashed the room. Come on, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll! Yeah, okay. Huh? Break some. Come on. I'm thinking about breaking some, but I want to come back in this room someday. Oh, I want to be, I don't want to insult anybody. Come on. Think of it as a, you know, an exciting life experience that you can someday write a fruity song about. <laughs> Honestly, I love your music, and I'll, I guarantee, folks, that you'll be listening to John Mayer's music ten years from now, if you get into the right elevator. <laughs> I can't believe this. Finally, someone lower than me. You are lower than me. I love you, John. You know, I would have sex with you, but I'm afraid that we're cousins. I'm hoping to talk with Star Jones. You know, to lure Star here tonight, they told her the red carpet was an enormous fruit roll-up. Kenny G, are you performing tonight? No, I'm not. How wonderful of you. How nice of you. So where do I get my Grammy, beach? You're going to head to the brown uh, wall there and hang right. If you see Alicia Keys, I sniff her ass first. Look at this, it's the roots. Hey guys, J-Lo is singing live tonight. I hope you brought a lot of weed. <laughs> Why aren't we there? I should be able to smell Rod Stewart's diaper by now. Mozart, La Nozze de Figaro. Patricia Chofi. Renee Jacobs, conductor. Martin Sauer, producer. No. And the Grammy This isn't happening. To... I'm on the even Adams, crappier the Grammy Adams, show. Adams, Adams, the one for all the awards no one cares about. They won't even producer. put this on basic cable television. Not even PAX. This is the dregs of society surrounding me. Best jazz instrumental. Look at you, killed guy. What's your problem? Boring! Congratulations. Thank Both you. of you. You're Thank nominated. You. You're nominated in the polka category. You're a polka musician. <laughs> yes, good. So what's your day job? <laughs> because people hate polka music. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, I feel it, I feel it. This is Ken from Black Lodge, and you're nominated in Native American album, right? That's exciting. I heard your album sold so well, they're printing a second copy. <laughs> no, come on. Let's be, let's be serious here. If your music was any good, it would have been stolen by the white man by now. Right? All right, now I'm talking to Ben, who's uh, in the new age category. Yippee, okay. No, you having a good time in there? Yes, we yes. do. Come on, it's a nightmare. It's like all these boring categories, you know, like yours, the Hawaiian music thing. It's a nightmare. Anyway, I think that... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just a little pissed, you know, to be relegated to the sucky show. I mean, you're used to this, you know. But with me, there's no celebrities anywhere. Usher's a very exciting musician. I'm looking forward to seeing him. But uh, hasn't he won enough awards? I mean, plus he's banged every chick in the music industry, including Clay Aiken. <laughs> Clay Aiken is kind of a queer. So, uh, it's, it's as if he's a woman. Cheryl Crow is coming out. She's going to perform and, then, and present with Lance Armstrong. That's her boyfriend, you know. He lost one of his balls. And if he loses the other one, he might start enjoying Cheryl's music. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Because Cheryl's music is for... See, normally I'm around celebrities. Usher also, I heard he's, he's already won like four Grammys, you know? They're all stuffed inside his crotch, actually. Interesting fact. No. <laughs> you hear Christina Aguilera got engaged? Yeah. Wow. I downloaded her last album, and now my iPod has a painful rash. <laughs> you see, Christina Aguilera is a filthy whore. And uh, so when she would marry someone, he's going to, you know, have venereal disease. You know about that. <laughs> Don't play dumb about VD. <laughs> now he's living La Vida Broca. <laughs> you see? God, this sucks. Can we get out of here? Huh? Seriously, you want to trash John Mayer's hotel room? I live right near him. Let's do it. Come on. Iron Ice? Sleepy? Let's do it. We're getting out. We're going to trash John Mayer's hotel room. Who's with me? Everybody's a winner. For me to poop on! Everybody will take a break. Nice job, Brian. For the we come back. Christina Ricci is here. Sit around. Thank you. Isn't it lovely? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this.